It's because I don't know what I'm going to say, and this is really off the cuff. And I, I'm trying not to be too... I can't actually get over why I'm seeing these in hotels, restaurant chains. Your coffee is not going to come out consistently. Okay, let's talk paddle grinders. I come into contact with these paddle grinders, whether that's through meetings, visiting hotels, garden centres, small coffee shops, you name it. They are an abomination when it comes to coffee. They destroy consistency, quality, and they're just, they're just a testament to where coffee was in the past. So how do they work? They'll grind the coffee at the top, like in, in their hopper, spin the knob on the left, then it'll grind the coffee. The coffee will then fall into a smaller compartment on the front. It'll then sit in there and wait for you to tap it like this. It makes an incredibly annoying tapping noise. And it'll spit out maybe four grams, five grams. It just spits it out. I'm gonna try and look at this as fairly as possible uh, without being slightly biased. So let's look at the positives of, of a paddle grinder. They are quite cheap and they are quite affordable. So I guess if you're at the start of your process and you could probably get secondhand for around two, maybe 300 pounds, maybe less. Um, we need to try and be in the middle here. We need to be somewhat neutral. Okay, so that is the positives out of the way. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. As soon as coffee is ground uh, and it's been cut through, oxygen can get to it. This can affect the taste profile of coffee a lot. Looking at the machine, you have the hopper, the bean hopper on top, and at the bottom it has a small compartment. So you have your whole bean sitting in the hopper and your ground coffee sitting in the front. Coffee will sit there at the start of the day and if, if it isn't served for a couple of hours, that ground coffee will sit in there for a couple of hours. That will affect the coffee significantly. We then get to the next compartment, which is the paddle. Every coffee has a recipe and it needs to come out in a certain amount of grammage. It needs to be measured. You're just hoping for the best. That is essentially what it is, you're tapping and praying. It is so inconsistent with how it comes out. Uh, this does create a recipe for disaster when it comes to creating a good quality uh, espresso or good quality coffee in general. Another thing with a paddle grinder is that you, you can waste coffee. Grinders take a lot of dialing. You wanna make sure it's coarse or fine enough. You wanna get the middle ground. And if you end up making the coffee too fine or too coarse, you've then wasted 300 grams of that. And essentially all that coffee will then have to be chucked away. So you are wasting money on coffee that you're not using. If you have a good, good solid grinder and an average machine, you're gonna create a fantastic coffee. If you have a terrible grinder and a ridiculously good espresso machine, it's not going to make a difference. The coffee is still going to taste watery, it's going to taste sour, or it's going to taste under or over extracted. Paddle grinders are, they are a way of the past. We've become more progressive. We have understand more about coffee and quality. If they're paying for it, they want high quality. So we talked a lot about paddle grinders and their negatives and their one positive. It's time to talk about where the step up is and where the industry is going. This is an on-demand grind by weight. The price is a bit higher, but again, you get what you pay for. So essentially, it will, it will grind the exact weight that you want. Some coffees require 17 grams in, some require 18, but it is so key that you get that recipe right at the start, that weight correct. If you can get a, a grinder that is on demand, as long as you have the weighing scales, you can weigh out and make sure you get that recipe per perfect. So to summarize, in comparison to a paddle grinder, the on-demand grinder will produce coffee consistently. This means it will come out in, in a certain grammage that you want, allowing you not needing to, to potentially weigh out anything or tap and pray, as I say. Also, the coffee is fresh every time. You can dial the coffee in between every shot, so you're only potentially wasting 18 grams rather than 300 at one go if you get that wrong. You're eliminating these three issues straight away before you put the coffee through the espresso machine. You're creating a better opportunity for you to deliver a, a, more, a more exceptionally tasting coffee drink. If you have paddle grinders or you recognize any of this, potentially move forward, be progressive and step into the future when it comes to coffee. Take a look at our website, we've got pricing on there. And don't be afraid to get in touch as well.